Introduction to the Orthodontic Scanning Protocol ITERO, the world's leading intraoral scanner, allows you to capture highly accurate models of your patient's teeth without the use of powder, which can positively impact the treatment outcome. This training video will assist you to become familiar with the software and the scanning process. Starting a new case. To begin a case, first remove the cover sleeve on the iTero scanner. Press on both sides of the sleeve to release the cover. Attach a brand new, single-use disposable sleeve. Make sure that the sliding cover lines up with the sleeve so that it snaps into place. Now, double-click on the IOC icon, which will open the scanning software. Once the scanning software opens, to start a new patient, click on the RX button, fill in patient details, and select the case type. Once ready, press Scan Now. One of the most convenient features of iTero is the dual pedal control. It can be placed wherever it is most comfortable for the user. The pink pedal is used to access the menu selection during scanning. The green pedal is used to select menu items, such as moving from one segment to another. Scanning technique. When approaching the patient for a scan, make sure you don't catch the patient's lip or cheek with the scanner. Instead, just gently pull the cheek aside and position the scanning head. The preferred method of scanning is to have the scanner touch the tooth surface. This will not cause the patient any discomfort. When manoeuvring, it's very important not to come into contact with the soft tissues, as this may cause discomfort. It's not necessary for the patient to open their mouth very wide. In fact, it's not a problem if the patient bites down lightly on the probe during scanning. Basic scanning sequence. The scanning should take place by quadrants, with the buckle first, followed by the lingual side. The scanner should ideally rest flat over the tooth surface, so the focus in the viewfinder appears even. Start with positioning the scanner on the lower left quadrant. To ensure registration, go to the most distal molar and capture the occlusal view. Now roll a little bit towards the buckle and move one tooth mesial each time while pressing the green foot pedal to scan. During the scanning process, pay special attention to the interproximal areas, making sure that these areas are also captured. As you approach the anterior, the scanner is going to turn with the shape of the arch in order to scan just beyond the midline. Continue by pressing the pink foot pedal, followed by pressing green to say, next segment. The next segment is the lower left quadrant on the lingual side. Start with the most distal molar. As you move forward in the mouth, angle the scanner slightly, being sure to focus on the interproximal areas. The teeth are basically going to move diagonally across the viewfinder. Now press the green pedal to say next segment and move to the right side. Repeat the process on the right side, beginning with the occlusal view and rotating to the buckle, pressing the green foot pedal to take a scan. When getting to the anterior, on the right side, for right-handed people it might be easier to switch hands. When filling in the lower right scans, the scanning software stitches the two quadrants together at the midline. Now press on the pedal to continue to the next segment. 
continue with the lower right on the lingual side. Once the lower arch appears to be complete, press the pink foot pedal and then the green pedal. Now we move to the next segment to capture the upper right buckle. On the upper arch, follow the same process as the lower. The first scan will be occlusal. Then roll to the buckle side and scan in the mesial direction. Just like the lower, go just beyond the midline in order to capture the areas that may be missing. To finalise, press the pink foot pedal followed by the green pedal for the next segment. Unlike the lower, when getting to the anterior of the upper, do not change the orientation of the scanner and keep a vertical orientation. In the viewfinder, it may not be perfectly focused. This is normal, as it is purely for positioning purposes. After finishing, press the pedal to continue with the next segment and take the upper left buckle scans. If you break sequence, which means moving too far where there is no overlap between scans, you will notice that the last scan will remain in the upper left hand corner with a little red border. This means that you need to take an additional scan to piece the scan to the rest of the arch. To fix this, all you need to do is look at the area that you have captured so far, get part of that area in the field of view, and make sure it coordinates with the scan that didn't fit. Then the system will automatically stitch those pieces together. After finishing with the buckle scan, press the pink foot pedal and green foot pedal for the palatal side. Scanning doesn't require the operator to be perfect all the time. If you need to add additional information to a scan, it's easy to do so at any time in the process. While scanning, take a look at the screen for any areas that may have not been completed and require additional scans. Instead of waiting until the end of the process, you can address these areas right away by taking another scan of the area. After completion of the upper arch, proceed to scan the bite. Press the pink foot pedal and then the green. The system will ask to capture the bite from anywhere in the scan. Please capture one scan on the left side. You will see the occlusion comes together. Then capture the bite right on the right side. Ideally, take the vertical line to follow the occlusal plane with an equal amount of the upper and lower. Then press the pink pedal, followed by the green, to enter the view mode. Viewing the case. Once all segments have been scanned, you will see a preview image with a lot of the soft tissues that were captured in the process, basically the lips and cheek. The white model indicates a preview surface. The system is processing the data and will remove the soft tissues when it's done processing. The surface will actually turn yellow showing a sharper, high-resolution model. Both jaws have now been completed and processed. Using screen controls. You can manipulate the model using the mouse and the screen control panel. You can rotate the model, pan up, down, right, left. Zoom region, zoom out, zoom in. 
To put the model in the centre, press Zoom All. You can also control the model movement using the control buttons. If you want to put the model in the centre of the screen, click on the plus button. If you want to separate the jaw and view each one separately, press the jaw icon to show and hide the jaw. After separating the jaws, please check each jaw individually, including the lingual side for missing data. You can use the grid option. You can measure the model from one point to another. Screen browser. Choose one jaw to view and then click on the tooth number to see the tooth picture in colours. Invisalign hole filling. After checking the model and see that you need to add a scan, please click on the Scan to Fill button under the Hole Filling tab. The first segment you'll get to fix will be the first segment with the red mark according to the scanning protocol. After you entered to the Hole Filling mode, you can take the scan of the missing area. Once you are satisfied with your scan, continue to the next segment. When you are done, Press the pink foot pedal to bring up the menu and select View. The system will process the new data and display a new high resolution image with the new scans. Using the eraser function. One useful feature is the eraser tool. To use the eraser, click on Eraser. If you have an area where you have some moisture or some other artifacts that you wish to remove, simply draw over the area Press Mark and press Scan to Fill to correct the error. Then position the scanner over the area you wish to fill and press the Scan button. The additional scan will automatically fill in the area where you erase the model. Edge Trim Another useful feature is Edge Trim, which enables you to clean up the edges of your model. In this tool, you can view one jaw at a time. The Edge Trim tool allows you to mark a particular area you wish to remove from the model, usually soft tissues or other artefacts. Press Mark, press Apply, and the soft tissue will be removed from the model. If you remove something accidentally, press Restore All to bring all surfaces back. Sending the case. After all areas of the model are captured, you can press the Send button and the case will be sent immediately. Once the software is closed, open the Case Manager and verify that the scan was sent. Submitting Invisalign orders. Adding a new patient. After you submit your completed Invisalign scan, wait about 15 minutes before submitting your Invisalign order. There will be two different ways you can upload the scan into the patient data. The first way is to enter the scan when adding a new patient in the Invisalign doctor site. To upload a scan when adding a new patient, First log in to your Invisalign Doctor site, then click on the Add New Patient button. In the first page, enter the general patient information such as name, gender and date of birth. On the second page, choose any specific clinical conditions if applicable and type general notes as desired.
The following page allows you to upload a patient portrait, which you can choose to do now or later. On this instance, we will choose to do it later. This takes us to the scan page. On this page, you have the options to decide later, send regular PVS impressions or intraoral scan. After clicking on intraoral scan, the available scans matching the patient name will appear in the box. Choose the scan by clicking on the circle. Within a few seconds, the file will be uploaded. On the next page, the scan file will be displayed in the upper corner if it was uploaded properly. This page is to upload patient pictures, which you can do now or choose to do later. The next record, radiographs, is also optional. Click next to finish. Filling the prescription form. The second way to enter a scan is by filling out a prescription form if you have already created the patient on the Invisalign doctor site before taking the scan. The consecutive pages are all questions from one to nine about the treatment goals for the patient. Each question will provide a line with your instructions on how to achieve the desired treatment goals. Details such as anterior posterior changes, overjet, overbite and midlines, as well as instructions on how to achieve these goals are requested on these pages. After question 9, you will arrive at the PVS scan page, in which you will click on the intraoral scans option and choose your patient scan displayed on the left side of the table. After that, click next. The photos page will be pre-populated with your patient's pictures if you upload them when creating the patient. Otherwise, you will need to upload the pictures now. The last page is to upload radiographs which is optional. After completing this page, the prescription form is finished. A summary is presented at the end. If the scan was uploaded successfully, it will be displayed in the upper right side of the page. Submit the prescription if all details entered are satisfactory. Agree to the terms and conditions to finalise the submission process. Once you are done, the prescription will be listed in your patient's file and the scan will be included in it. This concludes the iTero Ortho Software training video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.